We spent over a thousand hours testing over 30 office chairs, and our group looked at things like seat comfort, back comfort, and arm comfort. We also took a closer look at the manufacturer warranties, assembly process, and overall ergonomic adjustments. And guess what? We found what we believe are the 13 best office chairs for 2021. At number 13, we've got the Human Scale Freedom Chair, a simple weight activated mechanism for recline a unique pivoting backrest for impressive lumbar support, and it ships almost fully assembled. Average seat comfort for the price point, with no tilt lock functionality and a headrest that can be awkward for some. At number 12, we have the Office Master Yes Chair. We found the OM Yes Chair to have great overall adjustability and a really solid back support and one of the thickest padded seats in the list with a nice headrest option for most. Unfortunately, the backrest doesn't go quite fully upright and shorter people might need to use a footrest to get the chair in the proper position. It does also feature a mid-range build quality. At number 11, the Herman Miller Mira 2 chair. One of the most adjustable Herman Miller chairs to make the list. With a forward seat tilt function, a great warranty, and ships fully assembled. No back height adjustment and a seat that might be uncomfortable to some. The arms can feel a bit too wide and unfortunately it comes without a headrest option. Number 10, the Herman Miller Sail Chair. Features a wide range of ergonomic adjustments, including forward seat tilt, and is one of the most padded seats on the Herman Miller product line. It also features the great Herman Miller warranty. No back height adjustment, and some might find that the back is just a bit too short. And like many of the other Herman Miller chairs, there's no headrest option. Number nine, the Nightingale CXO. This chair has the thickest seat pad in the list with height and depth adjustable lumbar support, great overall ergonomic adjustments, and has 350 and 450 pound capacity options available. The Enerzorb foam may not be for everyone, and the headrest is not a great option for users over six feet tall. And if this chair doesn't fit, it is unfortunately not returnable. Number eight, the Herman Miller Aeron. Made in the USA with high-end build quality throughout, it features the best recline function, which is great for rocking, and is the best mesh in the business. Some have said that they can feel the plastic frame, and the seat might not be comfortable for everyone, and there's no back or seat depth adjustment for fitting a wide range of people. Number seven, the Herman Miller Embody. Another Herman Miller chair that's made in the United States, it features high-end build with a unique pixelated support system, a flexible seat and back for additional movement while in the chair, and an independent back angle adjustment. No lumbar adjustment and a pixelated support system that's not for everyone. The upper backrest has been found to force shoulders a bit forward while seated in the chair. Number six, the Steelcase Series 2. Features a wide range of ergonomic adjustments, including the popular four-way adjustable arm set from Steelcase and has a 400-pound weight capacity. The firmest seat of all Steelcase chairs tested and no back height adjustment could be lacking for some. The weight-sensitive recline is definitely not for everyone and has a limited tilt tension option. Number five, Hayworth Firm. This flagship product has a wide range of ergonomic adjustments, good seat comfort, four-way adjustable arm set similar to Steelcase, and a four-layer backrest with excellent flexibility. No back height adjustment could be a problem for some, and its three-year warranty on upholstery is a bit lacking. Armrests don't feel quite as solid as Steelcase, and the lumbar might be a bit too pronounced. Number four, Steelcase Think V2. Features a wide range of ergonomic adjustments, good seat comfort, and the four-way adjustable arms that are famous from the Steelcase brand. It also comes with a 400-pound weight capacity. No back height adjustment could pose an issue, and the mesh backrest is not for everyone. The limited tilt tension options could be a problem. Number three, the Steelcase Amia. This is the best value from the Steelcase line that we tested and features a less contoured seat and back with a slightly deeper seat pad than that on the Leap V2. The four-way adjustable arm set is the same that we'll find on the other high-end chairs from Steelcase. No back height adjustment could be an issue and only one tilt lock position is not gonna be great for people who like multi-positional lock and there is no headrest option available on the Steelcase store. Number two, the Steelcase Gesture. The most adjustable arm set we've tested, an intuitive seat slider function. It features good seat comfort and a great warranty from Steelcase. The Steelcase Gesture has the highest price tag on all the Steelcase chairs that we tested, and unfortunately doesn't come with a back height adjustment feature. We've also found that the back lumbar support is a bit lacking than that compared to the Leap V2. Number one, the Steelcase Leap V2. Features a wide range of ergonomic adjustments, an adjustable lumbar support system that's really like none of the other chairs that we've tested, the four-way adjustable arm set that's famous from the Steelcase brand, and a unique live back technology system. 
Like the other Steelcase chairs, it doesn't come with back height adjustment. The seat pad can feel a bit too firm for some, and it's not a great option if you like to rock back and forth in your chair. Hopefully you found this list helpful. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Thanks for watching.